Hey guys, today is going to be just a quick video and I wanted to show you guys how to build this dead bug style uh, regulator. Now the reason I wanted to show you guys how to build this is because the ESP8266 does suck a lot of power. So a lot of built-in regulators on your FTDI programmers or on your Arduinos won't be able to actually supply enough power to drive the ESP module. So it's a nice cheap solution, it's easy to build. There are a few different components that you're going to need for this project. The first is the LM1117 voltage regulator. You're also going to need a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and a 22 microfarad capacitor. One of these battery connectors or really any other connector of your choice for supplying input power. And I optionally have the male side of that connector attached to a small USB plug that I had on hand. And lastly, you will need some way of connecting it to your ESP module. I have some female to female jumper wires here. Now, you're also going to need a soldering iron and some solder to complete this project. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm building these dead bug style circuits is to tin the leads that I'm about to use. On this module here, I'm going to tin just the top portions of this regulator. So notice how the legs go from kind of large and they get skinnier down a little bit. I'm going to try to tin just this top section of the pins where it's larger. This will leave these smaller sections of the pins open so that I can plug it into a breadboard or into my jumper cables later on. So to tin the leads, all you have to do is just apply your iron for a couple of moments and then apply a little bit of solder until the solder just adheres a little bit to the pin. So I'm going to do this to all three of these pins. So now there's a nice little blob of solder on each of the pins. We can more easily attach the rest of our components. So the pins on this module from left to right are ground, voltage out, and voltage in. So we're going to place both of our capacitors that we have on the voltage out line. So the first capacitor that I'm going to place is the 22 microfarad capacitor. And this is the main capacitor that you need. You don't actually need the 0.1 microfarad capacitor, but it does help to have that capacitor on the circuit. It does clean up the signal just a little bit more, but mainly you want to have this 22 microfarad capacitor. So I'm going to go ahead and clip these leads a little bit. I'm going to attach it to the output side, the ground and output voltage. So now that I've clipped these leads a little bit shorter here, I'm going to bend them a little bit so that they actually will match up and line up with the pins here on the chip. Here is where that tinning of our leads becomes useful because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the capacitor onto the leads and I'm just going to heat up this center lead here just a little bit until my capacitor just melts on a little bit and now it's at least held in place for us and I can go ahead and solder the left hand lead, the ground lead, and actually solder it properly. And now that the left hand lead is actually properly soldered, I can go back in and touch up the center lead here and make that nice and clean. Next, we're going to solder our 0.1 microfarad capacitor, which again is not strictly necessary, but does further improve the output quality of this regulator.
And there we go. This is the basis for the entire regulator. You actually don't need any other parts other than the wires to connect to your circuit. I'm going to show you how to attach the battery clip and show you how to wire it up to your ESP module as well. So I've got the leads to my battery clip stripped and I'm going to tin them before I actually put them onto the regulator. And this again will make it easier for me to attach it to the regulator in a moment. Now we can take the ground wire here and just lightly solder it to our ground lead. And now it's attached nice and securely. It's not coming off. And then our voltage in wire, we can solder to this right hand lead, which is our voltage in. And now we have a nice solid connection from our battery connector into our voltage regulator. Now optionally, you can take a USB connector, as I have here, and take off the other connector end and attach the male side of this battery connector. That way, you can actually power this regulator directly from any USB port. To power your ESP module from this regulator, you're going to need two female to female jumper wires. All you need to do is to take one end of the white wire and go to the center lead here, and the black wire will go on the right hand side lead. And then on the ESP module, your black wire will go to this bottom right pin here, and the white wire will connect to this top left pin here. And now if we take our USB wire and we plug it into a computer, the red light on our ESP module comes on, indicating that we have power. So this is a quick and dirty little voltage regulator for your circuits. I have these on all of my ESP modules. They work really well. The output power is really stable. It's something I recommend making a couple of. That way you just have them ready for whenever you have a project that you want to use your ESP module with. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And take it easy guys. I'll see you later.